Yo, what is going on, gang? Hey, welcome back from a long three-day weekend. I hope y'all's Memorial's Days went super well. Um, I'm a little bit froggy, slept a little too much, you know, just trying to get the last bits of vacation sleep in. And um, no, I'm good. I'm good, though. Yo, check this out. Yo, this was a request from uh, homie Kylo Ren. Yeah, Kylo. Um, Kylo Ren had suggested that I try out a um, Warpath and Slammer build and kind of play around with the tank theme. And um, this was the end result. It's kind of cool. So what you're taking a look, what you're looking at is like this Cyclopean, like, you know, he looks like this barbarian dude, but he actually, he, um, he has a tank mode head as well, um, which is just basically the tank, the head flipping around, but you can see this is the back kind of has some like onslaught Bruticus vibes with um, the double barrels going on the back. I think that looks pretty cool. And um, yeah, partially this is um, uh, inspired by uh, Kuromi Kitten's um, homegirl made a moon racer build and, um, she kind of used like the vehicle torso, uh, the, or just the vehicle mode as the torso. And, um, yeah, looking at that, like, I mean, I, I wasn't necessarily thinking about it when I was building this, but afterwards I'm like, oh, I could see the, the influence, you know, and that's, what's really cool about taking a look at other artists, uh, work or, um, you know, cooking other people's dishes and stuff. You start incorporating some of those things into what you're, what you're doing as well. And so, that's why it's good to get exposure, meet new people, talk among creative heads, and really just kind of share all of that. Um, and so, yeah, really, really been loving the interaction that I've been having with the community. Um, you know, builders and non-builders alike, but obviously those who share their builds with me, um, you know, I, I take particular interest in that because, um, I don't know, we're all just painting. We're all just painting, and these are the colors of the palette. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. And, and so to get the tank head, you just kind of flip the rear guns back and you just flip that over. You put the rear guns back again. And now he's in his cool like brawler tank mode. Um, that looks really cool too. And um, it this is a slight rip off of or inspired by. Um, there's a homie named Emerson Tung. He, he's on Insta and he's one, one of the designers of the Doom game. You know, you know all those crazy mech murderous mech meat meat hybrids that you see in the game yo my man is one of the authors who who creates those designs he is sick with it he is sick with it and he has his own personal um uh manga called tankhead and so um i've drawn inspiration from that a couple of times and uh, no my man is sick with it you should definitely check him out yeah emerson tongue um that's our guy right there that's our guy. Um, I'm kind of recording with low light right now because per usual, my battery is about to die. Um, and so uh, I'm not in, um, I'm not intensifying the luminosity. Is that how it goes? But dude, pretty cool, right? I think he's pretty cool. I like this dude a lot. Uh, in terms of how he's made, it, it's really simple. Like I can just kind of go over him with y'all and, um, so first of all, it's just the Warpath build and it's kind of like bent in half like these bits would normally be filling inside here and so you're just getting warpath and kind of like bridging them in half so to speak at 90 degrees in terms of the arms these are really simple these are the slammer shoulders the leg another set of slammer shoulders the forearm and then the chainsaw weapon which is really cool because all of these joints basically give him super elbow bend super duper elbow bend which kind of maybe hmm interesting this might be able to translate into some kind of like tread tank mode thing so that's pretty cool but yeah, I'm digging the super double elbow action he has going on. And so he could raise his hands. He's like, don't shoot. Um, I'm unarmed, except my face is a tank. Um, dude, that's kind of cool, actually. I feel like that can fold up and lend to um, a cool uh, alt mode. And then on the legs over here, so before I go into the hips, these are just the slammer thighs. This is the slammer body. And the way they're connected is via that back bit that slammer has. And then up here, here, I'll just take one of these off. This is just a slammer waist bit. And then one extends into the leg, one extends out in the forearm, gun. And you plug it in and it's snug like a bug in a rug. I don't know which one I like better, the tank head or the cyclopean eye. I kind of like the cyclopean eye because it's all like brawlered out. And uh, let me flip that over again. Oops. Yeah, making sure that I can do that. 
<laughs> there are a couple of folks coming into the office right now waving hi to me <laughs> while I'm ignoring them right now while I'm building this. But that's cool. Everybody just filtering back a little bit early from the weekend. Huh. What's wrong? Oh, okay. I can't get the legs to sit flush for some reason. I don't know. It's probably due to me mistransforming it. Uh, I mean, fan moding it, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think I like the Bruiser Brawler Cyclops eye uh, better than the Tank Head. Yeah. And I might use this body for something else, actually. This kind of gives off, like, Votoms or, like, Gundam vibes, like Zaku or something like that, right? I, I At least I kind of get that feel, and um, I don't know. I like it. I like it, like it, like it, like it. Um, so let, let me just, uh, let me get this guy centered really quick. And uh, yeah, let me just kind of yammer for a bit. A, for those of y'all, I don't, I can't remember who it was, uh, who, who originally um, asked me to make the, the Skull Greymon. Uh, appreciate that, because you kind of got, kind of got me going down this Digimon rabbit hole. And I also don't remember the person off the top of my head. Um, who asked me to uh, make Skull Saitamon. Again, I don't know any of these guys. I just know the references based on what y'all tell me. But it's been kind of cool, like, trying to figure out um, uh, which Digimons are, 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 can be created using these various um, bits. And so, yeah, if y'all got suggestions, um, toss them my way. Toss them my way. Uh, I mean, I, I love I love cooking up my own dishes as well. But you know, feedback from the audience to be like, hey, when you when you try whipping up something with these ingredients or try to remake this and that, that's also fun too. Um, not that I can oblige every request, but at the same time, you know, um, yeah, it's just kind of fun. It's just kind of fun. Um, yeah, and so yeah, so appreciate the skull uh, Saitaman thing. Um, yeah, I got to figure out how to make them with less parts because when I'm prototyping, it's it's more of like, can I just get the general uh, shape and outline and I'm not really thinking about how many bots I'm using I'm just trying to create create the piece uh, and afterwards and I try to fine-tune it to be like all right I'm going to try to use as l um, little bots as, as uh, least bots a little bot as few as bots as possible so that it's more accessible um, by individuals at home you know because I know not everybody is like you know troop building and collecting hordes of these things and so um, I'm definitely going to try to be mindful um, of that man this guy's so cool <laughs> so cool um you know what? I feel like he can get into this like monkey kind of like ape mode. I might be I might be doing myself a disservice here by trying this on camera. Uh oh, I feel like the gods are speaking. Nah, yeah, that thing was popping off early. Dude, this is not bad either. Yo, the, oh, except he's a little back heavy. Um, because the center of gravity is uh center of gravity is off. But if I could get him to stand, this would not be bad either. Like, and he'd be all like monkeyed out. Um, ah, that's not bad, except he can't tilt his head back. That's just all he got. But if there was like a tiny little person on the bottom, um, all right, man, whatever, dude, <laughs> this is not bad, right? This is not bad. If he could stand like that, he, he'd look all bruiser out, bruisered out. That'd be kind of cool. Um, I can probably figure it out at some point, but it's probably not a good idea to do it on camera. All right, but we're gonna try anyway. Since we're this deep, right? Since we're this deep, um, everything on the back looks aligned except the legs are off. Yo, I've been having crazy nightmares, um, and I shouldn't. They're not like terrifying nightmares, but <laughs> I just feel like I'm in the middle of watching some like intense dream or, or intense um, movie or something, and um, I don't know. I don't know. Like it, it's like being in the most realistic VR. And um, they're all really similar in nature. Yeah, there's some, like, group that I'm beefing or I have conflict against. And, like, we're either fighting or they're trying to, like, get me. And I've been having a lot of those. A lot of those. But they're not, like, terrifying. It's more, like, exhilarating to some extent. I wake up and I'm just like, oh, snap. Um, hey, but here we go. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Bruiser Brawler. But whatever. Um, yeah, you know, I just decided, decided to make a longer um, video. Um, Y'all know if you watch this channel regularly and you watch through to the end, I've talked about how in terms of the YouTube metrics, everything just tells me that very few people watch to the end. Um, and that actually the shorts 
the short videos that are 60 seconds or less are the ones that really, really receive attention and people like and people are vibing with. And so to some extent, um, not that I have to listen to it, but if I'm trying to increase, not that I have to listen to the channel channel analytics, but if I'm trying to increase views, it does pay dividends to pay attention to that type of stuff and optimize. Um, but nonetheless, I do know that there are a handful of y'all who do watch to the end. And so um, I don't know, every now and then I'm going to throw one of these things um out yeah and then just kind of just to talk yeah just to talk honestly i don't even know what i've been talking about because all the stuff is not scripted and um i have a youtube advisor basically and that person told me uh you should you should um script your content and i'm kind of like ah, i ain't feeling that bro um but <laughs> here we are here we are so you know what next time i will have a theme and um that theme next time will be um uh, how I build stuff, me meaning like what's the process I, I use to go about building things. Yeah, one obviously is receiving community feedback from y'all and doing the stuff. And um, yeah, there's lots to go into. There's lots to go into. But um, my phone is dangerously low to go in Kaputskis. Uh, and so I think I will bid y'all farewell for the time being. And um, I hope y'all have a great, great, great week. And um, yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for supporting the kids with your views and ad revenue. And um, I hope you all are entertained uh, by both the builds and um, also me. Because um, I, I, I figured the folks who watch to the end and this stuff and you're just kind of hear, hearing me yammer. Um, something about what I'm doing other than the builds must have appealed to you that you've stuck around this long to um, just kind of listen. And for that, um, yeah, I'm really humbled. And uh, you really do have my gratitude. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's like somebody talking and you choose to walk away within a minute or you choose to kind of listen to them and hang out and have a conversation or one way conversation to some extent over here. But um, yeah, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for um, being a great audience. And um, and um, I don't know helping me feel fulfilled to some degree um, as an artist and as a toy enthusiast. Um, yeah, my words won't be able to express my gratitude enough, but um, maybe I'll be able to figure it out one of these days. Okay, y'all have a great day. Bye.